Morning Cathedral, I'm Eric. And I'm Sarah with your morning announcements for Thursday, February 6th. Let's start off today's show with a message from Mr. McNorgan, who recently returned from Haiti. Thank you and good morning. Nice to be back. Our uh, group of 10 girls, 10 grade 12 girls, and Miss Amanda and I arrived uh, yesterday morning, Wednesday morning, about 2 a.m. So I must admit I didn't make it in yesterday. I had the good fortune to stay home and shovel about two feet of snow off my driveway after returning from that beautiful 30 degree plus weather in Haiti. But it's good to be home. Um, if you know any of the uh, girls who are on the trip, if you're a friend or classmate, make sure that you check in with them and ask them lots about their experiences and what it meant for them because it's time for us to start talking about it and share the good news of our time there. Our friends in Haiti at St. Joseph's family were extremely grateful that we brought uh, 12 suitcases, 600 pounds of donations, education supplies, some first aid supplies, shoes, and they're so very grateful along with the monetary donation that we give to the home. So. Thank you for your support. And now that we're back, it's time to think about Think Fast, because a lot of the money that we raise from Think Fast goes to support St. Joseph's family, along with Development and Peace. Think Fast is coming up on Friday, February the 21st. So that's the Friday after Family Day weekend and through overnight until Saturday the 22nd at noon. So um, registration forms are available in my office or from uh, Monica Sadek and Student Council. Uh, if you're going to be uh, sleeping overnight in the school, it's something you plan ahead on. So no last minute registrations for Think Fast. Uh, you need to come by this week and pick up your form and get it in next week. Think Fast. Uh, is one time you, you must raise at least $50 in donations. So if you're new to the school, the way it works is you start fasting. That means no food from 8 o'clock on the Friday morning, the 21st, right through until Saturday just before noon when we finish. Uh, and you're going without food. You're fasting. Uh, you collect some pledges from friends and family. And like I say, it's a way of supporting development and peace in St. Joseph's family. But you must contribute at least $50 to be part of that fast. We have staff who stay overnight and chaperone the uh, event. So it's a big commitment on their part, and we expect on your part a big commitment as well. Uh, after 3 o'clock, after the school day ends, everybody stays in the school, and then we have activities from then on in the forum. Uh, that to raise our awareness of social justice. I'll, I'll show you some pictures of our time in Haiti and talk about that experience. So again, think fast. You got to get the forms. You have to pick them up today. You have to get them in next week. And that's about it for now. Back to the anchors. Thanks, sir. Applications for the Focus on Youth Summer Employment Program have arrived in guidance. Candidates must come from lower income families and be currently enrolled at Cathedral High School. Turning staff candidates must reapply for a position. Applications may be picked up from Mr. Nordoff and Guidance. Please do not hesitate as applications are due by February 28th. Did you achieve academic excellence while in high school? This could include honor roll, award, or any other type of award. If so, please pick up your certificate from the main office. They will be available until tomorrow. And speaking of academic excellence, a new scholarship is available. The Hatch Scholarship is for students planning to attend McMaster University's engineering program. Students must have an average of 94%, extracurricular and community involvement, leadership experience, and two reference letters. Additional information can be found on the bulletin board outside the guidance office. This announcement goes out to all musicians who signed up for Cathedral's Jazz Band back in December. There will be a brief but important meeting today after school in room 114. Thank you for Mr. Walker. Also today after school, there will be a step squad tryout. Please meet in the fitness center promptly at 3.15. Thanks for Madame Raposo and Mr. Siapana. This month is Black History Month and Cathedral will be celebrating with our annual Black History Month Assembly. All students interested in participating in the Black History Month Assembly are asked to meet immediately after school today in room 328 to sign up. Thank you from Madame Raposo and Ms. Samanda. Also today after school, the Astronomy Club will be meeting in room 308. New members are always welcome. Thanks from Mr. Bataracchia. Every Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to noon, you can visit Oasis in room 111. Oasis is a free and private support group for refugee and immigrant students. Feel free to speak with Mary Jo this morning. And moving into sports, today after dismissal, there will be a meeting for all those boys interested in playing senior football this fall. Please meet in room 331. Thanks from the coaches. This is a reminder to potential female rugby players of your cardio sessions at lunch today. 
And speaking of rugby, training for the junior and senior boys rugby team continues tonight at 8 p.m. in our main gym. Thank you from coaches Davis, M. Juba, and P. Juba. And lastly, this is a reminder to all boys indoor soccer players of your practice being held tomorrow at 3 p.m. in the gym. Thanks from Coach Claudio. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching. Well, my heart beats like a drum, a guitar string to the strum, a beautiful song to be sung. She's got blue eyes deep like the sea.